Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Giving all honor to God and to our pastor. We're about to give you folks. Good morning, saints. Good morning. It's just good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 Walk with me, Lord. Come on, walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Come on, walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Come on, walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. said, sacrifice an offering, a burnt offering, an offering for sin thou wouldest not, neither has pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may, may establish the second. By which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest standeth daily, ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God, from henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified, wherever, whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. For after that, he had said before, this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them. And their sins and iniquities I will remember no more. Now where remission of these is, there is no more offerings for sin. Having therefore, brethren, boldness, to enter into the holiness by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he hath consecrated for us through the veil that is so, that is to say, his flesh, and having an high priest over the house of God. Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. That means there ends the reading of his word. That is Hebrews 10, verses 8. 22. May that a blessing to you. Amen. Amen. Whatever, please bow your heads and join me in prayer. Let us pray. Most Heavenly Father, once again we come asking for your blessings. 
But first of all, I have to say thank you. Thank you for waking me this morning. Thank you for watching over me throughout this past week, protecting me from danger, seen and unseen. Thank you for being the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Thank you for being the Alpha and the Omega. I ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that you forgive us of our sins, our trespasses, our misdeeds, and our shortcomings. Deliver us from all unrighteousness. Bless and keep our pastor and his family with good health and safety. Let him continue to follow you as he leads us. Bless and keep the mothers and congregation of this church. Father, thank you for allowing us to come together this morning to give you praise and worship once again in your house. Bless those who are on our prayer list. Father, you know what each and every one of them needs. Bless and keep our friends, neighbors, and their families. Thank you for everything you do for them, and please continue to bless them. I ask now, Father, that you bless those who are locked up behind prison walls and jailhouse doors. Touch them, Father, let them know they too can be saved by turning to your Son, Jesus Christ. I ask now, Father, that your Holy Spirit enter into this place. Let us feel it moving and working among us, making us be what you want us to be. Father God, I ask you that you bless those people who were dark, who were harmed by the storm last week. People drowned without power for days in the strife they need, Father. Bless them and keep them the only you can. But Father, some don't realize yet that this is just, just punishment for some of the things that we continue to do. Father God, I ask now that you Continue to bless and keep me as only you can. Let us continue to grow in your word and become better disciples and Christians. All these things we ask in your darling son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And Father, please continue to bless us and keep us. Amen. 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 Thanks, John. Good Isn't it just a beautiful day God has given us? Yes. How many of y'all know that in this walk with the Lord, we have a shield of protection around us with Him? Are you grateful for that shield of protection from the Lord? The shield of protection over our families, over our children, over this evil world. I am grateful that the Lord gives us a protection every single day. And we're going to sing about that today. Are you going to join me? I hope so. I'm going to make you if you don't. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right.
Amen. 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 Lord, be a fence all around me every day. Amen. Amen. Because certainly we need God's protection, His guidance, and His direction each and every day of our lives. And for that cause, we ought to make a joyful noise. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep are his pasture. Enter to his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, yeah. his mercy is everlasting, yeah. and his truth endureth to all generations. I was glad, yeah. I rejoiced. Yeah. I was overwhelmed with enthusiasm, joy that was ran from the depths of my soul when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen, amen, amen and amen. amen. Let us now prepare for the reading of the church covenant. Amen. amen. As this is the first Sunday in the month of September, the day when we celebrate the Lord's table. Yes. Let us read the church covenant together, please. And it reads, Having been led as we believe, by the Spirit of God to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior and on the profession of our faith, having been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, we do now in the presence of God, angels in this assembly, most solemnly and joyfully enter into covenant with one another as one body in Christ. secret devotions, to religiously educate our children, to seek the salvation of our kindred and acquaintances, to walk circumspectly in the world, to be just in our dealings, faithful in our engagements, and exemplary in our deportment, to avoid our tattling, backbiting, and excessive anger, and to be zealous in our efforts to advance the kingdom of our Savior. some other church where we can carry out the treatment of this covenant and the principles of God's word. Amen.
encouragement him for the morning, nothing but the blood of Jesus. first-time guests, if you would please 
stand, give us your name, and uh, you can, uh, if you have a church home, you can let us know your church home, and if you're a guest of someone here, you can let us know that as well. We're going to start in the back, the gentleman, and yes. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. My name is Aaron. I bring you greetings all the way from Anchorage, Alaska. Oh, amen. I was amen. there about 10 years. Um, I go to school online at Colorado Christian University. And I uh, said, God, where should I go? Should I go to Colorado? And he said, no, go to Omaha. <laughs> and I said, are you sure? And he said, I'm going to make sure that you know it's me. He booked me a flight and put me in gate C-12. I am trying to be one of your disciples, Lord, okay, I'm going out of C-12. <laughs> then he said, I'm going to put you in C-12. I said, okay, I'm in C-12, but I'm still unsure. Is this Omaha? He said, there's only going to be 12 people on the plane. <laughs> I said, okay, Lord, I'm going to Omaha. <laughs> so here I am, I, I really do. I'm so happy to be, be here. I, I feel the love. I feel the peace. I feel God. Nah, I'm so happy. I, I, I thank you. Amen. 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 I start talking about God. I, I can go along. <laughs> brother Aaron, what's your last name? Aaron Williams. Williams. All right, right brother Williams. Williams. Welcome, welcome, you, welcome. Amen. All right, to the young lady in the front. Good morning, church. Good, Good morning. morning. My name is Ann Farris. I'm called out because of the name. Okay. I am here visiting. I'm the cousin to Sister Smith. Amen. Amen. And I am here visiting with them, with the family. I am from St. Matthew AME Church. My pastor is Reverend Berman R. Berg. And I'm very happy to be here. Amen. Good morning, Saint John. Good morning, Pastor Cruz. Good morning. What a blessing it is to see your beautiful and handsome faces behind the mask. Amen. 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 We're grateful to God for this another day that He's blessed us to see. Amen. Amen. I certainly want to take this opportunity to say. Happy birthday to all of our September babies as you celebrate the anniversary of your birth. Amen. 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 We thank God for you. Amen. Amen. And certainly so want to thank uh, Sister Karina Smith and Sister Emma McCruel for cleaning the church on yesterday. And Sister Kiana Thomas for checking the sound system on yesterday to see about getting the intruder out that we had on last Sunday. Amen. 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 We had a very unwelcome, I guess I have to say an unwelcome guest, <laughs> intruder in the sound system last Sunday. Amen. Amen. Uh, someone. Uh, lost their little cross. So, if you belong to this cross, uh, you may claim it. Amen. Picked it up yesterday. Over there in the doorway. Amen. So, if, if you belong to this cross, uh, certainly uh, we want you to claim your cross. Because the songwriter says, must Jesus bear the cross alone? And all the world go free, you know, there's a cross for everyone and there's a cross for me. Amen. 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 Uh, we extend a special invitation to St. John, certainly to attend uh, prayer meeting and Bible study this Wednesday evening beginning at 6.30. Amen. 
We also extend you a special invitation to attend Sunday school on next Sunday at 9 a.m. Amen. Amen. Uh, we need to come together for prayer meeting and, and Bible study and Sunday school in order that we might grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So I want to remind you that when you go out in public, please wear your mask, maintain your personal space distancing. Uh, when you're around people that you don't know if they've been vaccinated or if they're negative for COVID-19, we don't want anyone to be getting sick uh, with this coronavirus because it is a very deadly virus. Amen. Certainly in the special announcements and the additional announcement in the bulletin as information where you can get tested if you so need to do so. How many of the same unchurched unbelievers did you invite to accept Jesus Christ this past week? Certainly we have been saved in order to be missionaries to carry the word of God to unsaved folks so that they might become saved and might become disciples of Christ. And in order for them to become disciples of Christ, they must first be evangelized. And that is our responsibility. Certainly, uh, when that day comes and we have to stand before the righteous judge, we want to be able to hear them say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Amen. How many unsaved, unchurched, unbelievers did you invite to attend St. John this week? Certainly, as we know, we have plenty of room in St. John. Amen. I heard an echo saying plenty. Amen. Plenty of good room. Amen. And so, uh, if we invite them, they will come because the Bible says go out into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come. And the way you compel people is simply by extending the invitation, giving them the word of God, and then the Holy Spirit will do the rest. Amen. Amen. Uh, certainly we encourage us to do so, to be about our Father's business. Amen. Amen. At this time, let us be prepared uh, to be blessed by uh, the most magnificent music ministry this side of heaven the St. John Missionary Baptist Church music ministry as they come to bless us with this musical selection let us pray with them and pray for them as they come Amen, Amen. Amen.
we all stand in the need of prayer. Amen. Makes no difference how well you might think things are in your life. You still need prayer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Let us go now before the throne of grace. Eternal God and loving Father, we thank you, Lord, for the privilege of calling on your holy and righteous name. We thank you that you saw fit to make us in the image of your likeness. We come in no other name than the blessed name of Jesus the Christ. For the word teaches us that because of Jesus, we can come boldly before the throne of grace. And we come today, O oh Lord, thanking you for Jesus, who made it possible for us to have the privilege of calling you our God and our Father. Thank you for your precious Holy Spirit, who keeps us sealed into the day of redemption who leads us, guides us, and directs us in the way that you would have us to go. We're grateful, O God, for your looking beyond our faults and our failures and blessing us according to our needs. We acknowledge, O Lord, our faults are many, but we are grateful, O God, that you are a loving, merciful, and gracious God and Father. We thank you, O Lord, for bringing us thus far through another week's journey, allowing us to see another beautiful Sunday morning, a day that we don't deserve to see, but because you are loving kindness and tender mercy, we've been blessed to see this day. We are indeed truly grateful. We thank you that you stayed up all night last night, kept your watchful eye upon us, and protected us from all hurt, harm, and danger. When each breath could have been our last breath, you kept us alive all through the night. And awaken us this morning with your finger of love and allow us, O oh God, to get up out of our beds. Allow us to dress ourselves and come out to the house of prayer where we might worship you in spirit and in truth. Now, Father, since you brought us here, we pray tonight so Lord, that you would help us to lay aside all of the hindrances that would keep us from worshiping you and praising you in spirit and in truth. Now, Father, we are mindful of those who are on the prayer list today. There are those who are sick and shut in, and we pray tonight so Lord, that your hand of healing would be upon them. For we know you're a great physician, one who has never lost a patient. There are those, O oh Lord, who are bereaved today. Those who are grieving and weeping, O oh Lord, because loved ones have departed this life. We pray and ask, O oh God, that you would touch, comfort, and console them. And that you would give them your peace and your strength yes. to go through this time of bereavement. Then, Father, there are those who are incarcerated today, and some that justly and some unjustly. We pray and ask, O oh Lord, that you would touch them and let them know that if they would just turn it over to you, that you are able to turn it around and to cause all things to work together for good. For those who love you and will the call according to your will and your purpose. Then, Father, there are those who don't know you in the pardon of their sins. We pray and ask, O Lord, that the convicting power of your Holy Spirit would touch their hearts, cause them to repent of their sinful ways and receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior. Now, Father, we ask you blessings upon the President of these United States. We pray and ask, O oh Lord, that he would seek your guidance and direction, seek your wisdom as he makes decisions that affect your people. Not only him, but all of those whom you have allowed to be in leadership positions, that they would seek your guidance and direction. 
because one day they too must stand before the righteous judge, give an account of the deeds that they do in their bodies. Now, Father, we are mindful of those who are victims of Hurricane Ida and the storm that came through. We pray next, O oh God, that uh, your hand of mercy will be upon those and touch the hearts of those who have resources available that they might be provided for those in need. We ask your blessing upon those, O oh Lord, uh, those who are outdoors today, that housing might be provided for those who are in need of housing. Then there are those who are hungry. And we pray and ask, O oh Lord, that food would be provided. We know, O oh Lord, that we live in a land of plenty. And there's no need for no one to be outdoors. There's no need for anyone to be hungry, thirsty, uh, naked, or without shoes. For you have provided enough resources in this world in which we live. That if those that have would just share with those who don't have, that everyone could be well provided for. But there are those who are greedy, those who are selfish, those who are filled up and stockpiling, who, no oh Lord, uh, one day will leave this world and leave it all behind. So we pray and ask of God that you would touch the hearts of people, that people might be generous to those who are in need. Now, Father, as we go further in this worship experience today, we ask your continued blessings upon the music ministry, that the songs of Zion might be a sweet smelling savor unto you, and that some soul might be ministered to through the singing of the songs of Zion. Then, Father, we ask your blessing upon the preach word. We pray and ask the Lord that your word will go forth and accomplish that which you sent it forth to do. That if there be any present and that know not Jesus Christ in the pardon of their sins, that they would repent of their sinful deeds and receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior. Come ask him, what must I do to be saved? Then, Father, for those of us who already know you, we pray that as a result of this worship experience this day, we'll be better servants for you going out than we were when we came in. These are all our blessings we ask. In the name of our living, in the name of our loving, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, let the saints of God say together, Amen, Amen, amen. amen. and Amen. It's giving time now. Amen. Amen. We're up to the ministry of giving. Amen. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. The Lord loves a hilarious giver. Or to be happy to be able to give. If God has given to us, we ought to be happy to give back to Him. That portion that he has said that we should give back to him. Amen. He does not give to us grudgingly, so we should not give back to him grudgingly, or we should not refuse to give to him at all. Amen. Amen. Let us read the ministry of giving together in unison, please. Let us read the ministry of giving together in unison, please. 
even from the days of your fathers, ye have gone away from mine ordinances, and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye say, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with the curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast their fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for ye shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. Amen. 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 If you do not have opportunity to place your tithes and offerings in the tithe and box as you enter the sanctuary, we ask that you please take the opportunity to do so as you exit the sanctuary. So we want to thank all of those who are unable to worship with us physically, who worship with us online, who are supporting the ministry through your prayerful support and through your financial support through Giveify, through mailing in your tithes and offerings, and through sending them in to the church. We thank you for your support of the ministry. Amen. We also want to thank those who uh, who faithfully support the building fund. We thank you for your sacrificial giving. Uh, we know that God is blessing you for your sacrificial giving. And certainly uh, those who give to the building fund can certainly see where some of the building fund is going to when we look at the parking lot. Amen. Amen. The work was started and uh, they have to come back and paint the lines in the parking lot. Uh, but we should not, no longer have that swimming pool uh, in the middle of the parking lot and that ice rink uh, in, the, in the winter when it snows and the snow melts. Uh, we should no longer have that problem. Uh, they have uh, guaranteed that the water will drain off of the, uh, the, the parking lot. And certainly, uh, I, I told them, say, well, we, we got that guarantee uh, that, uh, that this is going to solve the problem. I mean, what, you, you ask them to get paid. Yeah. 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 Amen, Deacon Trostle. So we, we want to be guaranteed that what we are paying you for, we are getting. So uh, the contract and the company has agreed to, I say, and it has to be in writing. Amen. 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 It has agreed to providing a, a guarantee in writing that the problem is resolved. Otherwise, they will come back and resolve the problem. Amen. 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 Uh, money don't grow on trees. So if, if it does, you find one, please move it to my backyard. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We will now be blessed by another musical selection by the most magnificent, the most melodious music ministry this side of heaven, the St. John Missionary Baptist Church Music Ministry, located at 3912 North 16th Street. Omaha, Nebraska, 68110. Amen. And with him and pray for him and let him come. Amen.
Good morning, St. John. Good morning. Um, I woke up this morning with a spirit of praise on my heart. Um, um, I didn't know how God wanted me to praise him today, how he wanted me to worship him today. And normally I praise him through song. Um, that's, that's my first choice. But I'm still in prayer asking God to give me give me how he wants me to praise him today because I have so much of it inside of me and I just want it to come out. I'm praying that it will come out because I need it to come out. I know once it comes out, I'll feel lighter. <laughs> I'll feel lifted. Nothing, nothing wrong is bringing me down right now. It's just that, Lord, I want to praise you today. I want to show you how much... I'm thankful for you, how much I love you, yes. Um, yes. how much how much I just, I, I praise him, and I'm so thankful for what he's done in my life, so um, this is, a, this is a, a, a song of love to God, almost like a love letter to God. Anyway, you all heard it before, you can join in with me and praise God with me. I really love you. I really love you because you first love me. I really love you, yes I do. I really love you. I really love you because you first love me. Love 
my mind. Please love with my heart and please speak with my tongue that your word would go forth and accomplish that which you sent it forth to do. Please hide me now behind the shadow of the cross of Calvary that your people might see none of me but all of thee. That the name of Jesus Christ may be glorified. That the body of Christ may be edified. We glad to give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We pray and give thanks. Amen. I'd like to prayerfully call your attention to the book of Exodus, the 15th chapter, verses 1 through verse 19. That's the book of Exodus, the 15th chapter. Verses 1 through verse 19, reading from the New King James Version. It's the book of Exodus, 15th chapter, verses 1 through verse 19. and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord and spoke saying I will sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea the Lord is my strength and song he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will extol him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his army he has cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. The depths have covered them. They sank to the bottom like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has dashed the enemy in pieces. And in the greatness of your excellence, you have overthrown those who rose against you. You sent forth your wrath. It consumed them like stubble. And with the blast of your nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stopped the upright like a heap. The depths, uh, the depths uh, congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue. I will overtake. I will divide the spoil. My desire shall be satisfied on them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. You blew the wind. The sea covered them. They sank like lead in a mighty waters. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, 
glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. You stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. You in your mercy have led forth the people whom you have redeemed. You have guided them in your strength to your holy habitation. The people will hear and be afraid. Sorrow will take hold of the inhabitants of Philistine. Then the chariot, the, the, then the chiefs of Edom will be dismayed. The mighty men of Moab Trembling will take hold of them. All the inhabitants of Cana will melt away. Fear and dread will fall on them. By the greatness of your arm, they will be as steel as a stone. Till your people pass over, O Lord. Till the people pass over, whom you have purchased. You will bring them in a plant. You will bring them in and plant them in the mountain of your inheritance. In the place, O Lord, which you have made for your own dwelling. The sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. For the horses of Pharaoh went with his chariots and his horsemen into the sea. And the Lord brought back the waters of the sea upon them. But the children of Israel went on dry land in the midst of the sea. Amen. You may be seated. Verses 11 through 13 say to us, who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praise, doing wonders? You stretch out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. You, in your mercy, have led forth the people whom you have redeemed. You have guided them in your strength to your holy habitation. We want to use for thought for your prayerful consideration something to sing about. Something to sing about. Life can be uh, extremely challenging when your own personal ability is no match for the ongoing encounters of life. The captivity of your hope and dreams begin to look like mass incarceration with no parole. Yet, there remains a glimmer of hope and a promise that seems so distant from you. A promise from someone who has the ability to cause the dreams of deliverance to be so near. It gives off the fragrance of fresh rain in the heat of summer. This chapter and text introduces us to God's abiding promise and an unfailing love to an unfaithful people who had been imprisoned by their own choices. The people now had reason to sing and celebrate deliverance. Today, we have a reason to sing and to celebrate for three of many reasons. We celebrate God's uh, great past, God's great guidance,
presence and God's gracious provision. As we look at verses 11 uh, through 12, we can see God's great past. We see God's great past because it says to us, Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praise, doing wonders? You stretch out your right hand. The earth swallowed them. Well, this song celebrates the fact uh, that there is no other God who exists that compare to our great God. Amen. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, there is none like Him. Amen. He is in a class all by Himself. Amen. Uh, he is in such a class that the rest of them have no class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have no class. Because uh, when it compares to our God, none can do the mighty things uh, that our God uh, can do. Uh, we see this clearly affirmed in Deuteronomy 32 and 39, which says, Now see that I, even I, am he, and there is no God besides me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Nor is there any who can deliver from my hand. God's hand is a mighty hand. Uh, 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 you can rest assured that anything you place in the hand of God is in safe keeping. Yeah, 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 there's none uh, as mighty as him. There's none mightier than him. Uh, the Bible declares that all power in heaven and earth resides in God's hand. And I mean, since he has all power, certainly there is none that can compare. There's none that can compete. Uh, there's none that can come anywhere close to our God. Amen. And, and I don't know about you, but I'm very glad that I serve a God. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Who has all power in heaven and earth in his hand. So, so he, he doesn't have some power. He doesn't have most power. But he has all power. And, 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 and since God has all power, that means nothing can happen unless God dispenses some power. Yeah, yeah, see, I, I know we get upset, uh, but because of things that occur in our lives, and because there's a fellow living around here that gets in our way and places obstacles in our way, a fellow by the name of the devil, a fellow by the name of Satan, a fellow by the name of Lucifer, who's on the loose, running weapon. But I stopped by to tell you that he can't do no more than God allows him to do. Yeah, yeah, see, because God has all power. All right. See, Satan has permitted power. Yeah, yeah, see, he only has the power that God permits. And any time God gets ready, God can shut him down. Yeah, yeah, see, don't get upset, don't get excited about when things go wrong in your life. Know that they are permitted by God, and since they are permitted by God, they have a starting point and they have a stopping point. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't get all wrapped around the axle when something goes wrong. Know that it will roll out because the Bible says to everything there is a season. Well, I discovered that seasons start and seasons end. 
if you don't believe Caesar starts and Caesar lives, just watch Summer start and Summer will have to live because fall comes along. And then fall will have to end because winter comes along. Winter will have to end because spring comes along. And they all keep coming along because they all have a season to start and a season to end. And trouble has a season to start in your life. Season has a trouble to end in your life because God has put a time limit on trouble. Yeah, let's see how I'm glad that God has all power in having a word in his hand. So you see, if, if, if folks had power over your life, then folks would not allow us to live. Yeah, 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 there are some folks, I know you think that you're all right with folks, but I start by the day. There are some folks that don't want you. Don't you ever think that everybody likes you? Just because folks smile in your face, don't think that means they like you. Sometimes a smile is just a frown turned upside down, my friend. Yeah, yeah, and they see when they smile in your face, uh, they get ready to pat you on the back. Well, be well who pat you on the back because they may have a knife in their hand, maybe a dagger, getting ready to stab you in the back. Yeah, yeah, so, so don't uh, get excited are run by people because people are fickle. They are one way this minute, the next second they change, so don't put your confidence in people. Put your confidence in the Lord God Almighty. My Bible tells me that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, which means he does not change. The Bible teaches us that he is what we say he's immutable, is one of his attributes, and when mutable simply means he's unchanging. Amen. Amen. Come on now, come on. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he's all powerful. Yeah, yeah, when, when, when God uh, delivered the Israelite people from Egyptian bondage, uh, there was no response from the gods of uh, the Egyptians worship or believed in. They didn't respond because they don't exist. Their gods were made and created by them. They were imaginary gods. See, any god uh, you can make you have to make them do something. And, and the Egyptian gods couldn't do anything when God delivered his children, Israel, from the Egyptians because they didn't have the power to do anything because the Egyptians couldn't give them power to do anything. Yeah, yeah. See, see Israel's God could fight for them and conquer their enemies. This was God created them. Yes. They didn't create him. Right. Yeah, yeah, so that, that's the difference. Yes. yes, our great God cannot be matched. Right. Right. Uh, he works wonders as he stretches out his right hand. Right. His right hand represents his unmatched strength and power. His outstretched hand demanded the earth open up and swallow their enemies. Yes, they sang of his unmatched strength as he delivered them. And uh, maybe there may be someone here today that has a song that you can sing. Uh, maybe God have delivered you from something. Right. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe you might have been in a situation. Okay. Maybe you might have been in a fix. Mm -hmm. Maybe you might have been in a trick. Uh -huh. <laughs> maybe you just might have been in something. Yeah. Yeah. Something that you didn't need to be in. Come on now. And God delivered you. Yeah. From that something you were in. Yeah, and, and then after God delivered you yeah. from 
at something, you had a song of praise on your lips. And you just had to say something. You just had to sing something. You had to sing for the joy of the Lord was your strength. And because the joy of the Lord is your strength, that he delivered you from the something that you were in. I stopped by to tell you, it's a good time to sing praises to God. Because he didn't have to do it. But I'm so sure I'm glad that he did. Yes, 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 see. And not only that, but we discover that uh, God uh, has for us uh, his guiding presence. For as we look at 13a, it tells us, it says, uh, You in your mercy have led forth the people whom you have redeemed. This verse gives the awesome picture of God's mercy going before his people. Notice this. You in your mercy have led forth the people whom you have redeemed. God and his mercy leading the way to deliverance. David reminds us that goodness and mercy shall follow us in Psalms uh, 23 and 6. See, God has goodness and mercy. See, he has two heavenly twins. One's name is goodness. The twin, the other twin's name is mercy. And David said, goodness and mercy shall follow me. Another writer said it like this, said another translation said, goodness and mercy shall pursue me. In other words, everywhere I go, I can't get away from goodness and mercy. Because every time I turn around and look back, goodness and mercy are pursuing me. In other words, I got goodness and mercy. In the words of Roscoe P. Coltrane, in hot pursuit, they on my tail, on my trail, goodness and mercy. I'm glad the God I serve. He's that kind of God. That goodness and mercy that keep on following me. No matter where I go. Yeah. This 
is God pointing and leading his people to their future. Uh, his great promise is in the place where he would dwell. His holy habitation. This place is his place where he dwells. And the promise for them to be there with him. For Israel, the promise is the Holy Land. Right. For us, the promise is heaven. Yeah, yeah. We must not miss the fact of uh, was and is providing for them Israel and for us, the church, yeah. an eternal promise that will not fade away. Yes, they sing. And we can sing of an awesome God who never fails to do exactly what he says he will do. Yes, I'm glad that we can trust and depend on God. Yeah, yeah. That he is no shorter than his word. Yeah, yeah. The Bible declares that before his word will fail, mm -hmm. that the heavens and the earth shall all pass away. And the very fact that we are here today is testimony that his word has not failed. Right. It's also a testimony that his word will not fail. Yeah. Because the Bible declares that God is not man that he should lie. Yeah. And I'm glad that the God I serve is one that I can depend on. Yeah. I can stand that I can count on God. Yeah. But I can't count on nobody else. Yeah. But I can't count on myself. I can count on God. You know, the songwriter said, The arms of flesh will fail you. You dare not trust your own. That's why I'm trusting in the everlasting arms. I'm just leaning on the everlasting arms. I found out that when I lean on Jesus, He won't do like some folks would do. Some folks, when you lean on them, they'll move and let you fall. But I'm glad that when I lean on Jesus, He wraps His loving arms around me and rocks me in the cradle of His love. And He won't let me fall. Well, today, we're still in the midst of a life that reeks with the smell of slave-centric politics and a, uh, and a uh, judicial system that holds many of us bondage. This is the truth of Exodus 1 and 8 coming alive. Now there arose a the new king who knew not Joseph. Well, people in positions of power are still verbalizing and acting out the words of Pharaoh. Uh, not only do they not know Joseph, but also they don't know the truth and the God. Yeah, God has, uh, has not changed. And he has already set in motion uh, his return of his great acts of strength of the days. His guiding presence and the promise of His great uh, provision. We do not have the right to sing. We can sing right now because God is already moving, leading and following with the strength of His right hand and His mercy. Hold on, my sisters. Hold on, my brother. Change is going to come. Right. If you just hold out right. to tomorrow, right. everything is going to be all right. Yeah. So I said that we can may endure for the night, yeah. but joy comes in the morning. Yeah. If you just hold on through the night, yeah. morning will come. Yeah. And when morning comes, joy will come. There's a bright sun breaking through the dawn. Yeah. The sun will shine in your life. Yeah. Just hold on to God's unchanging 
today. And when you see the sun shining through, you can start singing that your Redeemer has rescued you. You can sing that your Savior has come through. For he is no shorter than his word. You see, change is coming. Because the same Jesus that left you, the same Jesus who came down through 40 and 2 generations, the same Jesus that died on the old worthy cross, the same Jesus that who hung bread and died from the 6th to the ninth hour, the same Jesus that came to save us from our sins. The same Jesus that was buried in a bottle of tomb. Who stayed there all night Friday. Who stayed there all Friday night. Who stayed there all day Saturday. Who early Sunday morning. Got up from the grave. All power in heaven and earth in the sand. That same Jesus that bore the cloud and went back up to the sky. Who sat on at the right hand of power. In the season for the saints. That same Jesus is coming back again. He came the first time as a savior. He's coming back again as a judge. And when he comes back as a judge. The wicked folks will be judged. Those who are oppressing now, those who are mistreating now, will have to stand before the righteous judge, give an account of the deeds that have done in their bodies. I'm glad that when that day comes, when he comes back as judge, those of us who love Jesus won't be judged because we accepted him as our Lord and personal Savior.
put you all up on me.
disciples doing the fellowship meal. We look forward to the lie here to him of him was death on Calvary for the cross. And during that time he had they took bread, blessed him and says, This is my body which was broken for you, eating out the body of Christ. and said, This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for the remission of sin. Drink ye all the bit. And after they had communed together, they sang a hymn and went out to the Mount of Olives. Certainly we know we have no Mount of Olives to go out to, but we can certainly sing a hymn go out to the metropolitan area of Omaha tell them lost men and women, boys and girls in their need of a savior. Amen. <clears throat> so as we prepare to go, let us leave singing, what a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. Fellowship.